Nico B, here with a let's play of Project Eden's Garden. Yes, so this might come as a little bit of a surprise, and some of you might not even know what this game is. So this is a uh, Dongaropa fan game. I was actually contacted by one of the people creating this game about potentially checking this out as I've heard some pretty good things about it and it looked pretty, pretty interesting. But the thing about this game is that it's actually not done yet. Currently, there's only a uh, a prologue available, which is supposed to be relatively extensive, but it's still got a bit of work left before it is totally completed. And as you guys know, I don't generally actually play many unfinished games. It's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't checked out many of the other numerous uh, Dongaropa fan games that have uh, popped up because most of them just aren't finished. Similarly, the that other game that a lot of people recommend to me, uh, Your Turn to Die, which I've heard is also quite good, sort of like Don Ropa in, in a way, is also not complete, which is why I haven't checked that out. So why am I checking this one out then? Well, it's a few reasons. I was contacted again by one of the developers, and I thought that the game looked really cool. It sort of piqued my interest. But I also wanted to get some more eyes on this game because it does seem like it has a lot of potential. And they are actually looking for more people to join the team and making this game a reality. Apparently, they're still looking for uh, people who are experienced in programming for Unity and uh, translators for the project. So if you're at all interested in what we're about to uh, play here and you maybe have some experience or like to help this project come to fruition, uh, I'm actually going to leave a link down below to an application where you can uh, apply to uh, join the team. Just make sure that you have a portfolio of your uh, own work to show off. That is something that they, they did stress to me, as well as some links to uh, the game's page and social media accounts. But the other reason I want to check out this game is honestly, I've had a Danganronpa itch, all right? A huge one, large, massive itch that has uh, that I've not been able to scratch for a long time. This freaking V3. God damn it, it's been so long since V3 now. And like I said, I heard some good buzz about this game, so I thought this might be a good time to hop back into some Danganronpa goodness, even if it is not in the official form, but in a fan game. But like I said, this one looks really promising. It's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to, to check it out here and uh, see what they have going on. Now, there is only a prologue, but I have heard that this prologue is relatively extensive. Like, it will likely take me at least a few videos to get through. But I kind of just want to see what this uh, this game's all about, even if it is just a uh, small taste of uh, the full game that is to come. And honestly, it's been a while, right? It's been a long time since I've done, like, a, I've actually played, like, a demo, essentially, of a game. Last time I did that was back when I when I had those things called Let's Tries, right? Or it essentially was me playing an incomplete game, but it was like the same time also me providing developer feedback, right? And I guess in some ways I sort of am doing that here as well, I, getting feedback through my own like experiences, but I'm kind of just more interested in anything just to, to experience what's here and see if it gets me excited for the full game when that uh, comes out. They said that it could take them about a year or two potentially to, to see this game to completion. But yeah, let's uh, see what this game has got going on. Any change here? Probably want to the voice volume a bit. Uh, <laughs> hey, we got this. Well, action difficulty, logic difficulty. Wow. Okay, so right off the bat, I always did mean because there was never, it didn't seem like there's any reason not to. It was never that bad, right? As long as this game isn't like a complete uh, dickhead about it. To be honest, I don't mean, this was supposed to be the prologue. I don't even know if there's supposed to be like, any like trials or anything, you know? At least I wouldn't think so, but all right, let's give it a go. Don't make me regret this project, Eden. Don't whip my ass, please. <laughs> Life has no real meaning. Oh, I like, the, I like how this is starting already. We exist by chance, uh, born to a planet that didn't want us to begin with. It's up to the best of humanity to give the world a purpose. People like me! Is this Monokuma? Not Monokuma? Follow Akuma? Those who shine brighter than the others, who have an influence on our greater society. Ultimates! We are known as the fucking Ultimates! Yes. <laughs> look at all these, look at all these Flabians. All these dirty peasants. Ultimates are titles awarded to exceptionally talented high school and college students. Doctors who can cure the incurable. Engineers who build machines to improve millions of lives. But not these guys. No, look at these. These guys are black and white. They're not interesting. Most influential politicians, the most creative architects. 
These are the people who deserve lifelong recognition, who define what it means to be a true ultimate. I, Damon Maitsu, am the ultimate debater. Debater? The, the master debater? A prodigy among prodigies. Someone who simply can't be outmatched. I hold on to my title dearly. Because it defines me. It's who I am. It's what gives me my purpose. They did a pretty good job here emulating uh, Rumi Kamatsuki's uh, art style of uh, Don Europa. Got that kind of that painterly look. Among a sea of mediocrity, I am a shining example of talent. And now, there's a school worthy of me. Worthy of my badassness. To Mr. Diamond Matsu, the ultimate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't help it. The ultimate, the master debater. I, almost, I, I think I, I have to call him. He's the master debater. Congratulations for your contributions as an ultimate. We cordially invite you to attend Eden's Garden Academy, a specialized college for academic-based talents. This might sound a lot like another school that happened with the word hope in it, but for that, that never happened and that never existed. This is the first time a school like this has ever, ever existed. You shut up. At our unique academy, you will not only develop a tighter grasp on your respective skill set, but you and the other ultimate students who receive this invitation will gain an ever important proficiency in leadership, communication, and persuasion. In an age where anyone can be called an ultimate, we hope you will join us and assume your rightful place as the true face of talent. <laughs> You'll only be good at that one thing and nothing else. Please continue the contents of this uh, invitation as well as the attachment, attached registration materials strictly confidential. The integrity of our program is built on the foundation of privacy. Eden's Garden Academy, an ultimate academy for true ultimates. It was built in partnership with the Ultimate Talent Program, a government institution that has awarded ultimate titles to people for almost the last century. You don't apply for UTP schools, they scout for their students, which is how I found myself receiving a letter from Eden's Garden Academy. It looks to be an amazing school, immaculate architecture, incredible workspaces, Games of life and death! I mean, what? And access to resources beyond anything I've ever seen. Everything about the school is perfect. It's truly worthy of being called ultimate. I'm gonna tell you right now, by, by the way, I haven't actually really read much on like the character descriptions or, or any of that. I don't even know if Monica was actually in this game or not. I kind of want to go in relatively blind. I just kind of went off some screenshots and said, hey, this looks really nice. And again, based on word of mouth that it was, uh, it's been pretty well received. In my 18 years of living, I've accomplished more than most people could even dream of. With this random and chaotic existence, it feels like I was destined to be great. Damn, this guy's, <laughs> this guy's definitely a bit more, uh, got a bit more arrogance than like uh, a Nagi or a Hajime. After what seemed like hours of waiting, the train arrived before me. Well, it wasn't as nice looking as I expected, but you dirty peasants around, Mark. At least not for a school of this caliber, but it was undeniably the one. With luggage in one hand and a pamphlet in the other, I boarded the train. This is the start of my new life, the start of an even greater career. For the first time in my life, I'm finally be among people as great, great as me. Wow, okay. Huh? Look, someone else is here. I see a girl with a bunny visor. <laughs> Holy shit. Is that guy the ultimate tattoo artist on the way right? All right, let's see if I can just guess this shit. Uh... Pink hair is an ultimate, uh, jeweler. Ultimate cook over there. Ultimate cosplayer. Ugh, fuck me, I don't know. Some of, some of these designs, I'm not really, I can't really figure out what their, what their specific talent is. Oh, I, wait, actually, I bet the visor girl's like ultimate golfer or something. I bet the guy to the far left is like the ultimate poet? Guy in the back, is that ultimate like skier or something or? Motorcycle over there with the ski mask or whatever the hell's on his face. Guy's got a hoodie over there. Some fucking guy with a big hat over there. There's a Tagami looking guy to the right of him. I would have said he he was probably the ultimate debater. The ultimate game show host. Girl to the right. Uh, I'm not sure. Other guy to the right. Uh, also not sure. And that's about all I got. Huh? Someone else? Hey, hey. Welcome to the Eden's Club. Well, it's more accurate to say Eden's Garden Academy's Club, but Eden's Club just has more of a ring to it, don't you think? Better than Dog and Roomba Club? We don't even know what a Dog and Roomba is! In front of me, spread across the train carriage, was a group of strange-looking people. All as weird-looking as me. Uh, a girl with pink hair, some guy in a wolf costume. Is that what that was? 
Is that what that is back there? Is that a wolf costume? One guy in a weird beanie staring in, uh, intensely at me. What the fuck? What are these creepy people? Really taking the same academy as me? Apathetic at my situation. The train continued from its halt. Looks like I'm stuck here for now. I guess I should find somewhere to sit. Hey, you! New guy! Over here! Wow! Wow! They got the aesthetic down good here. Look at that! Wow! That's actually really cool. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, so you know I've caught the attention of one of the other passengers. What now? Wow, I feel like I should just... <laughs> I feel like I'm playing as Tagami. <laughs> Is this Tagami's adventures? I think I should probably give him actually a voice like that. What do you want? What if... Uh, okay. All right, so we're, we're starting off off the bat. So I got to figure shit out. I may not get it right the first time, but I, I got to work with it. This guy definitely gave me some kind of Rentaro vibes, so. Cool, so uh, I was wondering something. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm sure you can ask an employee. I'm honestly not in the mood. Uh, uh, oh, um, so sorry. Frowning and dropping his head, he walked away. Howdy. Excuse me, you don't happen to know when the final stop is, do you? The girl's voice suddenly chimed in from behind me. Jeez, can people just leave me alone for five minutes? What the no. fuck? Not a clue, but you can try looking for... Buff! Holy shit! The words got caught in my throat when I turned to look at her. This woman had to be twice my size! A uh, blacksmith. I'm calling it blacksmith. Although technically we actually already had an ultimate blacksmith in the Don Europa 3 anime. But let's not talk about that. Uh, actually, no, maybe like carpenter? Hmm? Something wrong? Uh, I I <laughs> <laughs> Don't fret, darling. I'll just see who else is around. With a small wave, she walked away. The people here just keep getting weirder and weirder. Really hope none of them are in my class. Hope none of their weirdness rubs off on me. Not wanting to be bothered any further, I quickly found myself asleep out the window. The situation was nothing like I expected, but at least the view from the train was nice. Dude, seriously, you're not like, they all have like a pamphlet of other kids that go to these schools, all right? They're all fucking weirdos. What'd you expect? You're not playing a dog robot game of art. Mountains framed by a deep blue sky, crystal clear rivers that sparkled like jewels in the sunlight. It couldn't be a more radical departure from home. Scenery continued to pass, time flying by with it. The chatter from the others on the train eventually softened, leaving just me and the rolling mountains. <laughs> uh, sniff. Guy or girl? I actually can't tell. Woman. Okay, nearby, a woman in professional attire turned her nose up to the air and started sniffing. <laughs> After a moment, the expression on her face turned stone cold serious. Something is wrong. The air doesn't smell right. Oi! Oi! Oi, mate! Oi! You gonna be Aussie? Oh, the air! Black. Uh. Oh, that was a boy from the uh, further back. That's a, that's a girl, I think. Hey, that's a sling, too! Excuse me. Hello! Oh my god, is that fucking John Lennon? Could you describe it? Hmm. Mm, kind of chemically. It's almost like it's coming what from. about? That bag over there. Is this a 1v1 on her shirt? Is she like the ultimate fighting game person or something? 1v1 me, bro? She pointed to a travel back the opposite end of the oh, car. Shoot. <laughs> this guy's supposed to be. Uh, oh, shoot. You mean this one right next to me? Let me think. I don't smell anything funky. Well, it's probably because of the health. Pardon me. Makes guys the ultimate butler. Though I think that's also been done before, but whatever. Butler. Is that your bag? Not a chance. Not a chance. Nope. Who's already here when I got on the train? Weird. Huh, it's weird. There's no name tag or anything. I'm a fucking wolf. Look, I got a wolf on my shirt. After inspecting the outside of the bag, he began fiddling with this lock. <laughs> Pop, and then Monokuma popped out. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm show up so me mega pissed. Cool, you got it open. Uh, uh there wasn't the lock. <laughs> huh? Eh, are you okay? Ooh, I actually kind of like her design. Yeah. I think she... I think out of everyone here, she might be the most Danganropa y of the Danganropa y people. <sighs> yeah, bro. I'm all good. I just feel kinda. Oh, fuck. Is there sleeper gas in there? Christ Almighty! <laughs> Christ Almighty! Thy will be done! Is he like a dragon on his fucking chest? 
I don't know. He's either like the ultimate tattoo artist or the ultimate like Dungeons and Dragons guy, or maybe the ultimate Jesus man. Christ almighty! Shit. Did he just pass out? I don't care. Life is meaningless anyway. This is the ultimate Squall fanboy. From the same end of the car, the guy who had been staring at me earlier. Uh, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Uh, what'd you say? <laughs> Somebody close that thing. What the? Oh, people drop a lot of flies, baby. Holy. Holy shit. Ah, oh, crap. So again. Get out. real? Are they trying to let the conductor or whatever? <laughs> oh, I don't think so, bitch. You're all going on a way way trip to fucking death town, bitch. Woo, woo. Aha. Aha. She ran over to the door and that connected the adjacent car. Rattle, rattle. Oh, crud. <laughs> oh, crud. It's not opening. Why is it opening? Stand back. Holy shit, this guy's voice is deep. I want to try my hand in it. Can you step aside for a sec? He yanked to the door, but rattle, rattle. Bad news. Bad news. Wow. Damn, the guys, this guy got some bass, bud. Damn, I got some titties, too. Damn, my. Damn, the car, car is locked up as tight as a prison. Come off the grass. Come off the grass. I think she knows got an accent. Huh? Bliff will take a piss like an hour ago. <sighs> Uh, no, let me try something else. The big man rolled his shoulders and threw himself against the door with all his might. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, oh where are my man tits? He groaned and stepped back, revealing he hadn't even left a mark on the door. What? That did nothing. Is oh, this girl sees a, a chunky girl. Oh, there's another bullet's falling. A girl, too. Uh, uh, Why is there a messy out? Ah! Damn it. Shit, maybe it's got something to do with that bag we... <laughs> Better I want to stick my whole head in there. Ah! Ah! Air around me had grown thick with a strange pungent smell. I could taste it. <laughs> Felt like it smelled stick my eyes. Oh, God! No, 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 no. As a futile plea left my lips, I felt my strength trail away with it. The world flickered around me, and then I... <laughs> There was nothing but dankness. Fowls woven by stitches and needles. Prologue. Always gotta start with the fucking, the fucking knockout gas, right? Oh, that's that good shit right there, boy. Burp, burp. Uh-huh. What is that humming noise? Sound almost like an air conditioner. But if it's an air con, why am I so warm? I would go open my eyes. Above me was a concrete ceiling. Concrete ceiling. My body's so heavy that I had to get on my fucking feet. I had to see where I was. Ah, she's cool, a dead body. Huh? It's a girl. Could could it be that she's... Nah, she's still breathing. So she's asleep. Just like I was. You think down to her level, I reach out my hand to shake her. <gasps> wake up, stupid! Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Start slapping the shower. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Hey, stupid! Wake up! No response. Bring my face closer to her as I repeated the question. I'm gonna lick your ear if you don't wake up! Hey, can you hear me? Why is she waking up? Damn it! Do I actually have to. <sighs> Holy! <gasps> uh, da, da, da. Her eyes snapped up and caused me to jump back. What? Hello. I was just testing you. Huh? T testing me? <laughs> to see what you would do. Would you make out with me? <laughs> Are you like... You definitely get, you're getting some... Okay, getting some Kiyagiri vibes from you now. All right. You got a feather in your hair. You know that? It's not every day you find a body on the floor. That's... So you were awake that whole time. Correct. I woke up before you, yes. She just let me sleep? Uh, anyways, how long was I out for? I'm not sure. I don't know. I didn't wake up that long ago. When I first came to, I was also startled to see a stranger. You see? One can never know if they're in the presence of a friend or a foe. Hmm. Which is why I need to see for myself how much I could trust you. By lying on the floor and making yourself vulnerable? Jeez, she makes no sense. As an excuse to break off the conversation, I started to look around the room. It was definitely some kind of boiler room, but there didn't seem to be a light switch anywhere. The only light came from events that far back in the room. Looking at my close surroundings, I, s I was standing on a platform which stair with stairs that led down to the rest of the room. 
The lower floor was mildly flooded. I see the water reached a little above my ankles. It was a place that had clearly been abandoned for a long time. And with all that strange things around me, my guests kept returning to the gr this girl. There's something about her that seemed almost familiar. Familiar. It's almost like I saw her on a train about five minutes ago. Maybe more. Maybe it's been like three years now. Who knows? Blah, 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 blah. <gasps> Wait a minute. I remember that day. Why, that's it. She was on the train. I boarded. Hey, we, we've met before. Mm. On that train? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Things turned upside down not long after you arrived. A strange smell started to come from that travel bag, and then everything turned black. Right. R right. What the hell was that? Listen to me. I think it was a chemical agent. The bag must have been equipped with a gas bomb or something. Someone clearly wanted to knock us out. It's like she's, it's like she's been thinking hard about it. I mean, that's why I took her so long to wake me up. I see. Sure, I was thinking the same, but whose bag was it? Why do they want to knock us out? Why aren't we on the train anymore? Where are Look we? At this. Considering our surroundings, some sort of boiler room. She raised a hand to push her glasses up. Something large and metallic on her wrist caught my eye. Uh, uh oh. We getting a uh, fucking 999 here too? We got like some zero escape nonary bullshit on us? Looking vaguely like a watch? Eh? Hey, what's that in your hand? Well, you tell me. It appears you have one as well. Ah, bitch! Son of a spit! Zero! Huh? Huh? Those words looked down at my hand. What the? So oh, no! What the motherfucker? Sure enough, I was wearing the same device. Been fitted tightly around my wrist, but it felt like I was wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing. Sorry. Damn it. Hey, I I'm not wearing this. So I grabbed a hold of the device. To Pull a tiny surge of electricity right through my wrist. <laughs> ah! How humiliating. Sorry, I should have warned you. If you try taking it off, it shocks you. Thanks for the heads up. Shit, what the fuck's going on? Why am I wearing this weird shock collar thing? Who put this on me? Look. You can touch the screen, though. Eh? Eh? See, like this. She taps the face of the device. It slowly lit up and displayed a holographic image. Hmm. Oh, it's like a watch. Correct. Mm-hmm. Just projecting a blank screen for some reason. So... Either way, it seems we're stuck with this device for the time being. Moving on. While you're standing there, the least you could do is give me your name. We didn't have much of a meeting on the train anyway. <coughs> Damon Matsu, Master Debater. I'm a student at Eden's Garden Academy. Interesting. Hmm. How interesting. Eh? What is? Okay, wait. I doubt she's the ultimate detective, because that's been done to death, and I, I think... I'm just going to assume this game does, has, like, all totally different ones. So what would she actually be? Someone inquisitive. Focused. Ah, it's like a hawk. Ultimate lab partner. Yeah. Yeah. I feel good about that one. Mm -hmm. What is? Thank you for telling me more than I asked for. As for myself, you may call me Eva Tsunaka. Okay. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Oh, pfft. she's not going to say what her talent is. Son of a bitch. The pain from the shock was finally subsiding. This is as good a time as any to get a better grasp of this room. Maybe there's something in here that can explain the flooding, or even better, that annoying mechanical noise. Welcome to Project Eden's Garden. A lot has happened already, and I'm sure you're eager to investigate. But here are some things you should get acquainted with first. To access the trinket, or as Damon so collo colloquially put it, the watch. Simply press F1. How does that work on my controller? View the past dollar, press F2. Again, controller. To access the observation mode, enter and press the enter key again and exit this mode. Oh, and use the... D okay. I hope that I can do this on a controller. Okay, I'm moving here. Okay, right stick moves this. Left stick moves this. That's that. Okay, D-pad is... So down. Left and right doesn't do anything. I guess that's the other services. My backlog. Can I actually change the, the control type? I don't think I can. Better save. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a little spinny thingy. Okay. Hey. Examinable uh, things highlighted. Nice. It's actually, actually, I think that makes it even mostly even easier than how Danganronpa used to do it, where it was like, big floaty rings would go in the air. 
Yeah, like in the I'm liking the UI and the the style. It's really it's tr really nailing the DR the DR look and feel. Eh. Staring at me from the corner of the room was an expensive looking security camera. It looked a lot like Gladys. Had this recently been installed? It it seemed better suited for a vault than a crappy boiler room. Interesting. You noticed that camera too? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's really out of place. Do you think someone is watching us through it? Doesn't look like it's turned on, so I doubt mm -hmm. it. I see. Perhaps that's for the best. Eh? What do you mean? If yeah, someone was watching us, it's possible they are the same person who put these wrist straps on us. She makes a decent point. There might be something useful in this pile of dusty boxes. Light bulbs, duct tape, a bunch of screws. Nope, nothing in here but junk. Generator, punch it! There's a generator under the vent. Is this what makes the mechanical noises? Seeing it in the water put me a bit on edge. I was thinking it's uh, checking on the window above it, but now I'm not so sure. I seem to be it. The room's too run down for me to investigate anything else. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Ava approach the pile of boxes and fish out a light bulb. Then without hesitation, she chucked it into the water. Huh? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, she jumped off the platform we were standing on and jumped into the water. The Seriously, what the hell are you doing? Can't you see? Exploring. You're not worried about the generator. Look. Look at the light bulb I threw into the water. No, so it isn't flashing. It means the water isn't conductive. Fair enough. I guess she's not worried about getting her shoes wet either. <coughs> okay, just give me a second. These shoes are worth more than your life. I took off my socks and shoes and quickly rolled up my pants. Trying to hide my discomfort behind a cool face, I descended the stairs into the murky water. The mechanical noise was even louder now. It sounded like it was coming from the direction of the vent. I see. Yup, it definitely must be the generator. Damn. We're lucky the water is conductive. Those exposed wires could be bad news otherwise. Interesting. If it's such a small generator, it sounds like it's running a lot of power. Surprising how this noise alone was enough to wake us up. <laughs> Whatever knocked us out on the train must have had plenty of strong- Oh god! Oh god! Ah, ah, just playing! That's the power of the master debater! Don't underestimate me! Anyway, I explained the whirring noise. Wonder where all the power is going to. High up on the wall was a vent. What could be on the other side? Do you want to look through that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Listen to me. All right, I have an idea. We'll take some physical effort. Huh? Like what? Well? Like getting on my shoulders? <sighs> Seriously? Ah, uh, not doing that. If you get on my shoulders, it will give you a boost and you can look through the window. Fair. Yeah, but then you'll feel my dick on your neck. And it's not that big, all right? I don't want you I don't want you feeling that. Fair, but I shouldn't be the one should not be the one giving you a boost. Mm. I don't think you could handle it, bitch. Say <laughs> that she stooped in front of the generator and motioned me for me to come over. I'm talking. Get over here, you beta male! Damn it! Make sure to tuck your feet behind my back. I wait over to Ava and awkwardly position myself on her shoulders. Are you sure you can do this? I'm fine. Just look through the window already. All right. Well, do you see anything? Yeah, another vent in a room just beyond it. Can't see what's inside the room, though. Both these vents are in the way. Taking a closer look at the boiler room vent, I noticed there were hinges bolted to the upper corners. Does this mean the vent could be opened? I wrapped my fingers around the grate in front of me. I pulled as hard as I could. Hey, I got it open. Hey, look at this, look at it. Great, you see better now? Uh, although the second event still obstructed a lot of the room, I was able to make out the legs of a table and chairs. They're fancy, pretty fancy looking. It's the floor of some fancy room. It must be a building with multiple levels. Where this vent opens into another room instead of outside. Eh. Just beyond the chairs in the very corner of the room, there was something peeking out. <gasps> Someone already fucking dead? A person's legs? But my chest tightened. See? Also passed out? Uh, hello! Hello, hello, hello! Can you hear me? No response. Damn it! It's gotta be way inside the room. Ava, can you let me down? Uh? There's someone in there. Uh, I, I... I think it's a guy. He's lying on the floor and I'm pretty sure he's passed out. Matter of something we don't. For not 
there when he wakes up. We might lose so, him. Rooms on the level above ours, said. Right, which means there must be a stair somewhere. Focus. Have to, I have to find them. To leave an area, press R or something on your controller. I'll confer the choice, cho choice with you just in case you get any second thoughts. Uh. Ah, yeah. Just be back. As soon as I was out of the water, I threw my socks and shoes and ran straight to the door. Or threw on my socks and shoes. Upon leaving the room, I was greeted with an equally derelict hallway. Nice academy you got here, guys. The walls and floors were old, matted color with nothing else to them. No wall decor, no windows, no life whatsoever. However, there was one thing that stood out. At the very end of the hallway, where the corridor took a sharp turn, was what looked like to be a sunlight hitting the wall. Does it mean there's an exit right around that Hang corner? On. Don't go running off without me. Huh? I've already inspected the rooms in this hallway, so you can just ignore them. When'd you do that? You see? Well, you were asleep. You weren't waking up, despite my best efforts, so I decided to investigate on my own. Hang on. Your best so... efforts. Poking you in the face, dragging you by the feet. I even bridal carried you at one point. Ha <laughs> ha! You carried me like Nagi! I'm sure I can, I can believe that. Listen to me. Anyway, I haven't checked what's upstairs. I didn't walk too far from where you were lying. Come again. You didn't think to get help. No. You were off breathing. Really? That doesn't answer the question. You only start to wake up after I return from my search. How does that get in the way of finding help? Unless you don't want to leave me here alone? Can't figure her out at all. Moving on. This floor didn't turn up anything useful, by the way. The rooms were just a bunch of storage closets, really dilapidated, filled with random not That's... random stuff. That was the case for every room. It's the truth. If you don't believe me, you can check for yourself. Okay. As my great grandmother's brother's friend's motivational calendar once said, "You can't progress if you don't have the will to move." Please use the controller to move, and then press this button to run. Last but not least, proceed with caution. You never know what could be hiding around the corner. The fuck are you telling me? <laughs> Where you're suddenly gonna, I'm gonna pull out a megaphone and start shooting shit? It's gonna turn ultra to spare girls. Well, hey, look, I'm actually relatively tall, unlike Nagi. Remember when Nagi used to run around? He used to be like at people's knees. Uh, so let's see what's the run button here. Oh, there it is. LT. Hey, baby. It's the truth. Check for yourself. All right, fine. <laughs> nice environment. The room is almost identical to what Ava had described earlier. There's no real organization or mean to anything. It's just filled with complete random crap. What did I tell Let's you? See. It's definitely a messy place. It's not that bad. Look, it's just... They got paint. I think milk. Can milk? Over the side there? I see a box of Damien Industries. Yes, that's right. Let's move on now. Let's try to listen to her. There's no reason for me to look inside this room. Especially when we might have found help. Eh, yeah, fuck that. I'm a shit. Ah, this music's freaking me out. Why am I going to the end of the hallway as we two little girls staring at me? Come play with us! Matsu, come play with us! Is there another storage closet? Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that I, I don't wanna look at that. <laughs> Slightly nicer looking. The upper floor was in a lot better condition than the one below, but that wasn't saying much. While our stays covered some parts of the walls and ceiling, I could only guess a pipe had broken and started leaking. There didn't seem to be any mold, at the very least. So... The room with the unconscious man should be above and chased into that boiler room. That means it must be on the other side of this hallway, correct? Yeah. Yeah, given we walked away from the boiler room to get mm -hmm. here. Alright, let's investigate. There's a lot of rooms here. I can't I imagine these are all openable. These are probably the our our uh, rooms, right? The students' rooms. It's locked. Sorry about that later. 
That's from, from medicine. What is, what is it? You think we're above and adjacent to the polar room? <coughs> no, I don't. Let's move on. I'm gonna break in here. Hey, wait, hold on. I see some weird shit. Is that a fucking penguin? It really looks like a penguin. I think. Well, it's got like a weird beak. And then like... Tusk? What is this? Look at that shit. Whatever bird this mask is supposed to resemble, it's a freaky looking one. <laughs> Madam Picky Penguin. <gasps> Zero! There he is! Zero, you look so beautiful! Lion? He's like something- he's like these masks you can like get like a... a 3D printer to print out for you or something and get off Etsy. Yeah, yeah. Man, these are some pretty bare walls out here, aren't there? Like an owl. Oh, it's a bunny! I think it might be this room here. There must be something. Uh, it's definitely not the room with the mask. Who right. the stairs? Okay, fine. Okay, I guess this is the one over here. This is definitely not the right way. Oh, for fuck's sake. Was it actually the way down next to the paintings? I guess it was. Jesus Christ. What? What? That is some jump scare fucking sound effect in the music. It's like. Must be the room. Take a deep breath. I pushed open the large doors. And she wished she was inside. <laughs> Monokuma, Monokuma is lying sprawled out on the table. Hey there, good looking. You come here often? Hubba hubba. Get out of here. Ah! Wow, it was a pretty stylish looking place. It's a lot better than maintained than the rest of the building. Okay, the vent should probably Oi! be. Oi, mate! Oi! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Before I had a chance to react, the woman drove her fist directly in the side of my head. Uh, Boom! Who the hell are you? What the? Who the hell are you? Damn it. Shit, why'd you just hit me? Mm. I'm not gonna embrace a stranger with open fucking arms. You could be the murderer! So your instinct is to attack everything you see. Hey, I've already spared one guy in a suit. I'm not letting my guard down a second huh? time. Uh, guy in a suit? Eh? Yeah. Hello. Hello. This guy, the outfit he's wearing. So, we met before, haven't curious. we? Curious. I was about to say, I recall seeing your faces on the train. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the two of you were standing next to each other. Do you guys know each other? Not at all. We only formally met a few minutes ago. Oh. Anyways. Well, you were still knocked out by that sleeping gas stuff, right? Soybean! Soybean! <laughs> she gonna call me a, like, a dag? Like, uh, Gondor? Don't remind me, Soybean! Come again. What? Uh, yeah, that's right, city, you fucking Soybean! Soybean! You're a Soybean! Just, Soybean, just like this loser next to me! I disagree, but we should focus on what happened on the train. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened, but she's like a really Britishy or Australian uh, Miura. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard her voice enough to tell if it's English or if it's Aussie. I initially thought it was Aussie, but then I heard a few things sound English. Was thinking of those on the train. Next, I was surrounded by total darkness. <laughs> Places like a solitary confinement chamber. Thought I was gonna be suffocating there. What are you talking See about? That? See that pantry over there? Yeah. Just that the door was unlocked. Jeez. You were inside that pantry. <laughs> when she kicked open the door, I nearly jumped out of my skin. What the hell were you doing while she was in there? Uh -huh. Waking up. Eh? Uh, isn't it unfair? I got stuffed in some tiny pantry with this guy at the entire floor to himself. <laughs> Who's responsible for this must have been jealous of my talent. Don't believe how many jealous bastards from violent in this industry. Uh -huh. Industry? Hey. What's with the dumb face? You know who I am, right? Was I supposed to? <laughs> Uncultured swine. My name's Grace Madison. 
ultimate goal for me. Oh! Don't forget it, Soybean. I also still can't say it again. Say it again, Soy. I think her voice is accent is. I don't know. <laughs> it's got a little bit of an accent. I think it's. I think it's English, maybe. Uh, but I was right. I fucking call that one ultimate golfer. All right. I'm one for one, baby. I'm gonna say the other guy's the ultimate. I'm gonna say ultimate butler, but I, I feel like I feel like we had that before, so that we might not. The ultimate golfer, of course. So the two of you were on that train. That means you're ultimate as well. <coughs> what about you? Hmm. Can you tell me your ultimate talent? I'm Wolfgang Akade, the ultimate lawyer. Here's my card. Oh fuck! Oh wow! Wow, really? You're Lily Phoenix, right? Wolfgang, cool name. Well, you're the one to kill from the outset, right? You're no, I'm pretty good at this kind of shit. I'm a lawyer. It's way better than being a golfer, but I'm such a young-looking guy, I didn't expect to have a talent like that. His age must be part of what makes him an ultimate. Pardon me. You look confused. Uh, I, I, I... I'm not confused, I just... I look too young. Is that what you think? I understand. I get it a lot. Even Miss Madison said it. Whatever you say. Because it's true. <laughs> well, don't you think the same could be said for yourself? I'm not wise in the ways of sports, but I have always had the impression golf was an old man's business. <laughs> not that young women shouldn't take the reins. The sport's probably in need of a revival. <laughs> It's a tough industry. That's because we go fight for recognition. We'll sit around for seven years and do F all. <laughs> Sounds like the average high schooler, now that I think about it. Hey, how old were you when you first started college? Oh, thank you. That's personal information I don't intend to disclose. <laughs> You're a piece of work, aren't you? What happened to talk about the train? These guys seriously have their priorities skewed. So... So, you have them too. Oh. Huh? Look. We're all wearing the same wrist straps. Really? You're busy talking, so I figured you wouldn't notice unless I pointed it out. Hey? Hey! Wrist strap, you say? <laughs> These fuckers are more like a mini shock collar. By the way, those aren't mutually exclusive. I heard you the first time. Well. So you tried taking it off, did you? Yes. Yep. Same with you. <sighs> Actually, it was me who tried taking it off. Stupid thing zapped me when I did. I suspected it wasn't unique to Miss Madison, though I hadn't tried removing the strap myself. Strange. Equipping everyone with a strap that shocks them. Who could just find them doing something like that? Well, what's the purpose behind these straps? Soybean! Soybean! Are you daft? It's to shock us! The thing is, we seem to receive a shock if we try to remove it. How can this be? So, why aren't we allowed to remove these wrist straps? <laughs> What I want to know is who even put this thing on us? Damn it! It's not even my color! Mm -hmm. The answers to those questions might be something we have to figure out ourselves. It doesn't make sense. For me to be abducted and taken somewhere, I don't know. Surrounded by a bunch of strangers and forced to figure out why. It doesn't make any sense. Why is it happening? Why did this happen to me? Hello. Hello there. Hello. Are you talking to me? No. No, look behind you. Huh? If you use a turn to see where to capture everyone's attention. Oh, fuck. It's... Small girl! Hopefully you don't have an absolutely nasty mouth on you like Sionji. Uh... Ultimate... Probably some ultimate kind of dancer, right? Like fan dancer or something? For a second I thought I was seeing things. Peeking out from the corridor was a small girl. Who are you? Is that a... What the? Is that a fucking gremlin? <gasps> fucking gremlin! Miss Madison. Miss Madison, you'll scare her if you shout like that. <laughs> Behold, I am a gremlin! Hmm? Hmm? Girl left her position by the corridor and slid into the room. I can see, see for certain that she was a kid. What the hell? Why is there a kid here? For your information. I am not a gremlin. Your mother never teach you manners. It's rude to back talk strangers you haven't met. No way the gremlin can talk! Oh, fuck me! I just told you I'm not a gremlin! I wonder if she's actually, you know... I'm almost starting to think that she might potentially have her fan in front of her, like, the, her mouth at all times. We must make comparisons. I'd rather you liken me to something more elegant. 
Oh, I think she will. For example, a kappa. Really? A kappa? That's not much better. Be careful. But please be careful what you say to her. This girl seems awfully young. Can't you see? She doesn't seem young. She is young. What's going on here? Why is there a child wandering around? Whose sassy lost child is this? You know, when I think about it, pretty sure I also saw you on that train. You were hitting mind some other people, so you were pretty hard to see. I assume you were sitting down or something. It even crossed my mind that you might have been an actual kid. Yeah. Come on, a bunch of strangers, huh? Think I didn't see it? Still, what the hell was it even doing on that train? That's what I'm I'm wondering. Kids got no business with people like us. I do not appreciate your misguided comments about my age. I am a professional, just like the rest of you. No. You mean you're an ultimate? Is that really true? I didn't think children could qualify as ultimates. I am an ultimate! Uh, uh. Must I keep repeating myself? I'm not a child, I'm a professional! Jeez. Well, what is it that you, you're so good at? Mm. So you desire to know my talent, do you? Normally I decline further conversation with your people like you. This is some goofy music, man. This is, this is definitely the goofy music of the game. But given our circumstances, I shall be sanguine on the matter. I am Toshigo Kaiura, the ultimate matchmaker. Nice to meet you. Okay, that I is suppose. not what I thought at all. Matchmaker? Why do you the fans then? Wait, really? You match people up? This little this actually child's gonna find my one my one true love? Toshiko Kadia. That's a matchmaker. Are you a bit young for something like that? Get a grip. The gremlin is obviously lying about having a talent. I better snuck its way on the tree because it's all the commotion. <laughs> Now the little bass is stuck with us. Son of a bitch! <laughs> she is. She's fucking golfing British Miura. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I'm saying, am I saying Miura? I'm saying, I meant to say Miu. Fuck. So how my, my brain, when rem remember her name, went like, it remembered like Miu Aruma and like one, and one word is Miura. And so yeah, I think, maybe just because I just got off of doing the 30 sessions thing. Sorry, Miu. Look at what you've done. Now look what you've done. You made her upset. Upset? Of course not. Of course not. I know better than to take a gremlin seriously. Oi! Oi! Don't you think you could just so use my own insult against Miss me? Madison. Grace. Mm. What? Moving on. So if things if I have things right, all five of us are on the train. What about the other people who boarded it? Do you think they've been kidnapped as well? Indeed. That is correct. Hmm. Apart from us, there are eleven other people. <sighs> eleven? Counting us, that makes sixteen. Correct. It's the same number of people who are on the train. Quite. Mm -hmm. I've become well acquainted with them. Filthy. The only person I've been avoiding is that frustrating boy I woke up with. You wouldn't believe his manners. And she also woke up with another person. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Hmm. As does everyone else. I suppose. Speaking of, would you like to meet the others? I think they should know about you four. Very well. That would be helpful, yes. Wonderful. Very well, I shall serve as your guide as we embark on this new journey. I almost think she has, like, either a crazy mouth or, like, a scar or something on her face. Take this I wouldn't be surprised. Don't sound so happy about this. This is a kidnapping, not a college orientation. Then again, it's not like I would go to the most most orientations willingly. Maybe those two events aren't that different after all. Well, where are the others right now? Obviously, they are outside the, this building. <laughs> There's an exit not too far from here. Follow me! It's for the best. She seems to know more than us. You wouldn't hurt to entertain her. <laughs> See where this thing has up its slave. This has buildings. So There's even more to this place than we've already seen. Are there other buildings just like this one? Say like how big of an area are we exploring? Staying here won't give me an answer. I should find the exit already. Some fucking weird shit in there. Look at this thing. Woman's mask bore, mask bore the unmistakable nose and horns of a giraffe. Definitely not a live one, though. Fucking hell, a weird ass shit in here, man. I had a little too much fun with the Photoshop. Uh, alright. Looks like the others are gone. Whatever. I'm better alone. I'm such a loner. 
Uh, okay, I assume it's the other door that wouldn't let me in, or, or one of these two. Oh, here we go. Hello, everybody. Hello. You're late. Huh? You're waiting. Oh, look, as the gremlin insisted. I didn't realize you fell behind until she said something. Unfortunately. I'm ashamed to say the same. Well. By the way, what are the others doing right now? Hmm. Exploring something else, probably. You don't sound very sure of yourself. Healthy. Hmm. They had the nerve to tell me to stay put while they inspected the area. Oh. If they don't want me to exploring, then I'll suppose I'll have to explore by myself. All right. Sounds like she just want, sounds like she just want to show Are off. You done yet? Who cares about that? Guys, here now. Let's go already. Yes, and then the others will realize your foolishness. Wonderful. Onwards. <laughs> I like I like that expression. Onwards to adventure. The great outdoors. The little girl turned to face the door, but instead of pushing it open, she reached for a lock I hadn't even noticed before. The door opened with a long, shrill squeak or creak. And we finally saw what was waiting outside. Death. Oh wow, it's actual outdoors. The same before us bathed in sunlight was a massive Romanesque courtyard. Finally some sunlight! Go! Finally some good fucking food! Damn. This courtyard. I wonder if we're gonna escape by climbing over the hedges. Hedges are tall, but if we try looking for a rope. Hold on. I doubt it's that easy. The devices we're wearing will probably shock us. Huh, I'll see if you're right. Soybean. Go on, soybean! <gasps> Fucking soybean! Go on, man! Stop. What the? No. Unfortunately, it's pointless to climb the hedges. How do you know? If you take a closer look at the sky, you should understand. Huh? The sky? Uh. Yes, do you see anything strange? Anything strange? No. Something standing out to... Huh? So my eyes tried to adjust to the glare of the sun. I noticed it. The shape of the clouds weren't normal at all. Oh! Oh, it's a fake sky! No, it's almost as if they were concave. Uh. The sky is curving inwards. How can this be? Could it be? We're looking at a hologram. We're inside a goddamn video game! Of this size? No way. This is gonna be a 360 degree projection or something. Th that's... You mean, the sky we're looking at is actually a video panorama? It's not completely ridiculous when I said it out loud, but at the same time, it made too much sense. Mm -hmm. This is a 360 degree projection. Wouldn't that mean we're inside some sort of dome? Hmm. We're in a giant IMAX! Such is the truth I have long recognized. That's... Come off the grass! Come off the grass, you ass! Wait, you knew the skull was fake. Why'd you call this gym be all the great outdoors then, you dang, you dang gremlin? No! It was for dramatic effect. In truth, I haven't seen that natural sunlight since the moment I woke up here. A cause for concern. Ah, no sunlight. You really didn't see any windows in this building. No. No, none at all. <gasps> no windows means no oxygen. Must have stuffed caves with speak. We're all gonna fucking die. <laughs> we survived this long. I think we'll be okay. okay. You're acting way too nonchalant. Does this place bother you at all? It's a dome with a fake sky. It's like something out of a movie. So... Maybe whoever brought us here wanted to recreate the feeling of being outside in lieu of actually letting us outside. Hmm. Sure, if you want to make a broad assumptions. In a situation like this, making assumptions is all you can really do. Fair. Fair. Whether or not the sky really is a projection, it's not something we can do much about. For now, we should remain focused on meeting the other students. Huh? Above the insane chatter, I heard a quiet, high-pitched noise. It's like a mouse's squeak. It was so unlike the current conversation, it automatically stood out. Hey! Can you guys stop stop talking for a second? Shut up! Hmm? Hmm? Is there a problem? Yeah. Do you hear hey. that? Yeah, what? Someone sounds like... Whippering? <laughs> Strike me pink. Struck me pink, you saw it, man! I just heard it! Oi, you! Oi! Who the hell's crying? Quit hiding and come knock us! Hmm. Do you ignore the shrew. Her bark is worse than her bite. Who you call the shrew, you sh- You gremlin, you 
The crying seemed to have stopped, but whoever it was refused to come out. Mm. Can we just leave them be? If they don't want help, it's not our issue. Goodness. Don't be so heartless. This could be another and someone in need. Be careful. Um, to the girl that is crying, please excuse my friend here. None of us are here to hurt you, so I think you should come out. Hiding will only make you more scared. You think? Do you really think that's going to convince them? <gasps> ah! Eh? Eh? Uh, um... Hmm. She, she'd be like the ultimate general or something. That'd be really funny. Given the, uh... <laughs> her seeming her seemingly her temperament here. Um. Hello, I am. Um, who was it? Um. Hello. How about you tell us your name first? Uh, Eloise Tolner. I'm the ultimate fencer. It, it's really nice to meet you all, even if it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> fencer. Okay, that makes sense. I guess. I guess that's. Kind of a fisting, well, fisting attire are like, is actually more like a bodysuit, but this is like, I don't know. Don't make a kind of a regal look about it, and it's kind of a regal sport, so. Cool! She's gonna be good at stabbing a motherfucker. Eloise! She's a chunky girl. Damn! Ultimate fencer, was it? Strange. That's strange. Someone who's prolific at fighting, she would have a reason to hide from people. That's not. Actually, it doesn't focus as much on courage as people think. Um. Um, the key to fencing is the ability to predict your opponent's movements, along with having the agility to avoid them. Acting brash may get you the first move, but it's a steady, analytical mind that secures the win. Music in this game's good, too. I'm, I'm enjoying the beats. Mm. That's kind of impressive. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I get really excited when it comes to the subject, so I can't help but gush. Listen to me. But I have to ask, why were you hiding from us? She stood there quietly, deep in thought. Okay. When I woke up, I had no idea where I was or why I was here. Kind of like... There were several strangers around me, and they were all so panicked as well. I feel like a mouse caught in a trap. Everything around me was so suffocating. Oh. That's why I ran away immediately. I really don't like it when people can see me like that. I came and called my mom. My phone wasn't on me when I came to. I understand. If it's any reassurance, it seems my friends and I are in the same situation. Seriously. That's probably the last thing she wants to hear. Is this when were we friends? Well, was anyone with you when you woke mm -hmm. up? Yes, but I didn't get to talk to them before I went into the flight mode. Sorry. So this girl's just closes us, and it seems she's also passed out on the on that train. Damn it! The fuck is going on here? Uh, um. Um, were you the only people in that building, by the way? Mm hmm. Miss Ka Koyura is currently introducing us to everyone else. Would you like to join? Maybe. I think I want to stay where I am. Very well. Very well. When I meet the others, I'll tell them to gather here. That way you won't be alone. Also, if everyone's together, we can discuss our next course of action. Yeah, I'll wait here if, if it makes things easier for everyone. Many thanks. Many thanks, Miss Talon. Uh, Prepare to reinforce looks a lot calmer. Wolfgang knew how to handle the situation pretty well. Or maybe he just knows how to handle people in general. I guess it's admirable. What a nerd. Oh, God. Ooh, flowers. Fake sky. Video game sky. See? Of the 11 students I mentioned before, five of them awoke in this courtyard. I also woke up here. It makes a group of six. If everyone was split into pairs, it would check out. Mm. Similar to you, the surrounding sky gave us hope of a world beyond the courtyard walls. But no sooner after we fell for the dumb solution did the cracks begin to show. I've no doubt that was the intention of this place, inspiring hope in order to crush it. <laughs> Clearly, we are witnessing the machination of a dastardly villain. Her point could have been made in a lot of your words. Oh yes, this is very helpful. Thank you, game. Wait, I can't pause it all. Maybe I can't do it while I'm out roaming? I can only do it in rooms like where I'm like examining stuff? Yeah, I can't do it with the keys either. I guess that must be the case. Oh, hey. Oh, this guy's the ultimate archer. <laughs> now I see arrows on his back, which I... Were those there before? I remember that. Guy was leaning against the hedge with his hands in his pockets. Nice. 
Looks like you found some friends. Indeed. Indeed. Why don't you say hello? You looked at us and waved. Or is this the urge to wave back? Yes, no, that's for it. nerds. Have you no manners? Talk to All them. Good. All right, my bad. Clearly amused, he stood up straight and faced us. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to act like a dick. This has been uh, all over the place for me. I excuse that now. Humph. Humph. I suppose. I suppose we can forgive you if you give us your name. Easy enough. I'm Desmond Hall. They call me the ultimate marksman. Close enough. He's literally Hawkeye. Hear me out. A marksman, eh? I must be a pretty, really good at shooting stuff, right? What? That's right. I have a really good eye for my targets. Guns, bows, slingshots, you name it. I've hit bullseyes with it. Hold on. With all those weapons, I must ask. You haven't killed anyone, have Whoa. you? Whoa, never. I realize my town may leave some people on edge, but I only practice on stationary targets. Moving targets are really outside of my comfort zone. Believe me. Believe me, I never take a human life. I see. I see, good to know. Those are serious question. He composed himself pretty quickly. This guy knows to keep his cool. So, so who's your partner? You all had one to my knowledge. Hmm. Oh, you mean the pirate guy? He was, well, <laughs> he was fine. Harmless for the most part, just a little too extreme for me to be around. Situations like this, I prefer to keep myself. I know that sounds less cooperative, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Why? Why just a blooming bloody second? Huh? You all right? Huh? You. You. You say a pirate? Hmm. That sounds dumb, I know. I wouldn't buy it either if I hadn't spoken to the guy myself. <laughs> it's gonna be that one freaky dude in the train, right? The buff one with the dark dragon tattoo? Yep. Yeah, that's your man. That guy was a pirate? Is that what it was? He went through that door over there, so. <laughs> huh, I gotta see him. Totally. Yeah, fun with that. Just saying, the guy's a little out there. By the way, Desmond, did you see a girl in the gray uniform over there? I told her I'm going to bring everyone here. I think it's important we discuss the current situation as a group. Could you give us some company while I'm gone? Easy enough. Ah, sure thing. Others are not a bunch, so good luck convincing them. I mean, I casual, being the ultimate marksman must take a lot of diligence. Always keeping a steady hand, always thinking on your feet. There's probably a lot to learn from someone like that. Everyone else must be in the building up ahead. Perhaps they are discussing something. My, my. Let's head over and find out, shall we? Okay. Is anyone else over here? Guess not. This guy was a pirate. Arr! He didn't have a pirate sounding voice, though. Holy hell, is that a fucking tree? Look at that thing. I think it has to be like 60 feet tall or something. <laughs> A sight to behold, isn't it? That's not it. Well, let's not get too excited. It's only a tree. No. I'm not even sure we can say that. Could you explain? Care to elaborate? I didn't, don't quite get what you mean. Ava bent down and crushed one of the fallen leaves in her hand. Fake. I didn't hear any crunching or tearing. Interesting. This is a faux tree. Impossible! Impossible! How could someone possibly manufacture a tree of this size? This. Does it ever run out of leaves? A lot, a lot of them fall down. If it's real, it explains why those leaves don't make any noise when I break them. The expression said it all. What oh, the hell is there a huge fake tree? Interesting indeed. I'd be hard pressed to find a school with an installation like this. <sighs> You'd be hard pressed to find it anywhere. I feel like you only see this in a museum or something. In case. This building certainly has a strange aesthetic. That's one way to put it. The tree is in the center of the, a large circular room. Uh, surrounded it were a bunch of people I recognized from the train. These must be the others uh, Toshiko was talking about. Mm -hmm. Guy the two we just met. Th this is everyone, correct? Indeed. Correct. What's wrong? Is something you wrong? See. If everyone from our train car is here, where are the other people who were on the train? That's that's a good point. There were other people, right? Sure. Of course, the academy said they reserved the train for its students. <sighs> Yeah, but did you actually see anyone? See. I never left our car, but I know Miss Madison I... did. Huh? I apologize. You mentioned leaving for the bathroom, remember? I would left to take a pistol like an hour ago! I see, I see. Oh, right. 
I passed a bunch of students on my way to the crapper. I didn't talk to them, though. Strange. They had to have heard the commotion in our car. Why didn't they help Damn. us? Maybe they were also knocked out. Anywho. I, I doubt it's something we can answer right now. Can I just introduce you to the others already? I understand. Yes, we should familiarize ourselves with the people who are currently here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the only thing we can do right now. Regardless, the whole thing was pretty baffling. The other students on the train passed out. Where are they? Where are they now? And if they didn't pass out, why did they not help us escape of our car? So is this guy actually the ultimate pirate then? Pirate man! Grr. Glad to see you're alright, kid. Of course I'm alright. You gave everyone a scare running away like that. We really thought we could catch you, but... <laughs> How fortunate- oh, 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 oh. She did the laugh! How fortunate that Dora came equipped with a lot. <sighs> However, it was all worth it. Looking at these people I befriended during my exploration. Uh, I'll give credit where credit's due. You came back with plenty of spoils. Plenty of spoils! <laughs> Oi, you! Oi! What's off for a second? Uh -huh. Huh? You're a pirate, right? <laughs> Shiver me timbers, ahoy, matey! That kind of pirate, right? Pirate? Urgh. Okay. Huh? I'm not a pirate, I'm a ship captain. There's a huge difference. Huh? A ship I'm captain? Talking. You don't need to be so loud. Just asking a question. Just a question? Huh? huh. For guys like me, that pirate nonsense is a tired stereotype. Pirates live off stealing and causing trouble. We ship captains are nothing like those low lives. Jeez. If you're not a pirate, then explain the clothes. Uh -huh. hmm? Do these look like the clothes of a pirate to you? <laughs> Maybe not a real one, but an exaggerated stereotype, sure. Please don't. It's probably best you leave this man alone. I take it he's dealt with our kind before. My mistake. I never like to soil the mood, but a man can only stand so I'm much. I'm real sorry. Sorry for losing my cool there, bro. Anyway. Man's voice is deep. Ah. Okay, whatever. You said you were a ship captain, right? This guy was acting weird, but I want to get more out of him. Ever picture a ship captain receiving an invitation from the Eden's Garden Academy? Especially not someone like this guy. That's right. Huh. That's right. <laughs> I know the seas like the back of my hand. Every river and waterway within the north and southern waters. <laughs> and this arm, look at this! I am the king of the seas, hero of the storms. I am John de la Mer! John de la Mer! Ultimate captain, I guess? Ultimate ship captain, yep, okay. Interesting. What does that even mean? King of the Seas, Hero of the Storms. Out of all the storm! Do people actually call him that, or did he come up with that, those names is himself? Is that really true? You know every river and waterway. Is that really true? Uh, yep. I've studied every map I possibly can. Of course, I haven't actually been everywhere. According to a stingy little thing called Border Patrol, that's known in some parts as trespassing. <laughs> I may be King of the Seas, but I'm not above the law! Ha ha ha! I suppose that's good enough. I see. Either way, it's not like it matters much here. From the looks of it, we're nowhere near the Leave ocean. It to me. Fortunately, life as a captain has accustomed me to the unexpected. You lads can trust in me. I'll protect you as if you were my own crew. Me own crew. Protect. Protect us from what? Why? I suppose from whoever put these wristwatches on us. Then again, that doesn't seem to be anyone else in this place apart from How us. Is that so? Guess that means our only obstacle is finding an escape. Not too big of an ask, guy. Eh? All we need to do is find where we entered, then voila, sweet freedom. For such a simple conclusion, he, he was sure making a big deal out of it. By the way... It may interest you to know that people are gathering outside the building Miss Kaya explored. We want, to, want everyone together so we can discuss what to do next. Would you like to join? Good to know. Always good to keep people on the same wavelength. See you there, mate. That guy's a prick. No one what I expected. Funny, it was a every bit as dumb as his appearance. <laughs> Most he can't be thinking about someone like him. <laughs> I like how my my guy's just a total asshole. Holy shit, there's so many people in here. Oh my god. So many fucking people in this one room. Okay. 
I think we already had a blacksmith. You're the, I bet, carpenter. I'll go with that. Golly. God, what's this? More oh, friends. Stop. Let's not go that far. I don't even know your name or talent Wait yet. Wait just a sec. So let me tell you. Hi, my name is Ingrid Grimwall, and I'm the ultimate blacksmith. Never mind, I was right the first time. Well, never mind. Well, that's interesting. So that's, like, that's actually been done before. Technically, that one uh, fucking, what is that guy named? The, he said some like dumb, like, like cutesy shit or something. That one girl, he like liked her candy during the, the Dagrupa anime. He had blonde hair and like a red coat. All right, well, we got another one. She's buff as fuck. <laughs> a real blacksmith, eh? Is there anything like our movies depicted? Have you ever made swords out of molten metal? Not just swords, but tools, armor, statues. If you can name it, I can forge it. Mm. It's never an easy undertaking, I'll admit. Spring muscles are par for the course, but the same way climbing a mountain is painstaking, but reaching the top delivers a high you can never forget. The struggle is all worth it for the outcome. <laughs> T. I wonder if she's built like an athlete. Her job sounds like nonstop high intensity exercise. So, so how is your kind not gone extinct? Ah, oh. uh, extinct? Made redundant by technology. Can't you see? Aren't there ways to make specialized weapons without overworking yourself? Well, I, I don't like to admit it. Against modern machines, it's true I'm not an equal match. <laughs> because I think I'm better than them. Those hunks of metal may look cool, but the creations lack the human touch. You gotta keep things natural, traditional. That's when truly amazing things happen. Now would you look at that? If my creation touches the heart, it's better than anything made by a machine. Imperfections be damned. My, my. Ew. Better than machines, huh? People always told my, me my skills were impressive, but I've yet to be compared to a computer or something. How come a blacksmith could receive that sort of a claim before me? Before me? How dare they? Those dirty peasants! There's always been a demand for handmade things, especially nowadays. Does your audience skew older by chance? Oh, folks, movie producers, board game enthusiasts, even the occasional youngin', these are all people who visit me. Wowie. It's great when I can relate to the most of my clients. The excitement is mine. Uh, exactly which clients does she relate to? In any case, are you the same as us? Were you also kidnapped on that train and taken here? Oh, oh I wouldn't say kidnapped. Come again. What? Did you not black out on that train? <laughs> eh, no, I did. Well? Then how else would you describe the situation? Maybe it's a surprise excursion. Hiya. Better yet, a surprise exam. The people running this program just putting our abilities to the Take test. Seriously. That's stupid. You're stupid. If the academy was that unhinged, no one would continue attempt attending it. Let's get going. Well, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Needless optimism is a substitute for a reason. By the way, there's a gathering outside the building Miss Kayo explored. Would you like to join? We plan to discuss some very important matters there. No. No, aren't you nice? I'll get right to it. Don't do anything silly billy while I'm gone, you silly billy. I hate her already. Uh, mm, ultimate tracker. Oof. <laughs> Oof. So you got all caught up in this one too, did you? I remember seeing the five of you on that train. You're really ultimate students, huh? Correct. We wouldn't have been on that train if we weren't. <laughs> Just making sure. I knew the education sector had low standards, but I think just handing out this title to anyone who asks. Jeez. What the hell is your damage? Hmm. <laughs> right, right, that's it. What's the matter? I know this bitch. As in, personally. Nah, she's the holler that's been ruining my ma ruining my magazines. <laughs> Ever since her interview with Rich People's Digest, her stupid success stories have been plastered everywhere. Youngest ever self-made billionaire, party of the agricultural industry, blah, blah, blah. Did I hear that right? This girl we're talking to, is she actually? <laughs> I'm flattered you memorized my resume. Huh. Your resume? So those things she said were an exaggeration. If I may ask. This is news to you. Anyone who's anyone knows about Winona. Winona? That would be my name, yes. Although, many call me the ultimate entrepreneur. Origins aside, it's one good title. Okay. Wrong about that one. Ultimate entrepreneur. 
You're Tagami? Female Tagami! No wonder she gave out such an intense aura. This girl probably has enough money to buy an entire country. So it doesn't mean, mean I'm going to let her talk down to me. Hmm. She has looks, talent, and wealth. She'd be truly a special match. Interesting. Why would a billionaire need to attend a school like Eden's Garden Academy? I thought it would be an opportunity to make connections with the well-established geniuses of my generation. Nasty. Now that I'm aware of the lax admissions process, I'm leaving the first chance I get. And not because you've been kidnapped. <laughs> you can't leave. Destiny has decreed that I must guide you towards a most wondrous romance. Nope. I'm not really interested in that. I'd rather receive financial rep reparations from the Academy. <laughs> At the very least, let me be your stead. With my divine foresight, I shall lead your legal battle to victory. After I fell asleep in that train car, someone must have carried me out and dumped me next to the tree here. Sheesh. Why did no one stop them? Were there no precautions in place to stop someone from manhandling a student? I'd say it was extreme ineptitude on the students at the school's end. But since it appears I'm not the only victim. Funny, we only see her first name. Seemingly. What a joke. What a joke! Well, that makes things all the, all the more sinister. So you think someone carried her here? It's plausible, I guess. We gotta transport us from that train by vehicle and carry us in. When you woke up, was there anyone with you? Honestly? Yep, but she was weird, so I left her. <laughs> You're a walking stereotype. We know about it as much as you do. The five of us have been walking around and talking to the other students that were on the train. Let's see. The rest of them are congregating outside. Once we meet everyone, maybe you'll, we'll be able to figure out what's going By on. Say, why don't you join them? <laughs> I think I'll take you up on that offer. Such relief that one of you actually has something useful to say. The girl's a piece of work, but given the season happening, she's not wor worth the stress. Fuck this. More importantly, what's happened to us? It's too much for a single pair of hands. So I had to sneak onto, maybe even hijack that train. Plan to kill the agents and carry everyone they knocked out. There's gotta be more than one person behind this. A group, maybe. Question becomes, who and why? Why? Okay, so we still got one, two, three, four, five, six people. Holy shit. Also, there's a leaf on the ground. <laughs> That's funny, the leaf, leaf just kinda like hit the wall and then just kinda... <laughs> Those sticky leaves. Well, all right, guys, I think this is probably a good spot to end for things here for now, but it's pretty great so far, I'm not gonna lie. Really uh, unique character designs join the uh, the story so far, all the also unique character personalities, and uh, dev definitely looks legit, all right? This game's definitely looking the part, for sure. You can see what the uh, Monokuma-esque probably critter or something or other that is actually like the, the bad guys in this, you know? Like who, who or what they are. I don't think it's Monokuma. I don't remember seeing Monokuma in like any of the screenshots, but I am curious. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. or are looking forward to uh, a bit of a sneak peek at uh, this series. If you are, please do a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a Picky Penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, Stay classy!